Hey there, beautiful, powerful, strong, intelligent, mighty, brave, courageous, compassionate, blessed, loved, fiery, powerful, sisters of mine, chosen, sisters of mine, graced, sisters of mine, blessed, sisters of mine, favored, sisters of mine, enriched, sisters of mine, love drenched, sisters of mine. Glory to God. Hey, beautiful ladies. I pray you guys are blessed on today. I felt led to get on here. God's been ministering to my heart, and I want to minister to yours. I, I believe somebody needs a word from the Lord, some encouragement from the Lord. And I, I feel led to give that today by the Holy Ghost. Give that to anyone that needs it right now. If you don't need it, then just share this and maybe it'll bless somebody else. If you don't need encouragement right now, well, just share this video and it'll bless and encourage somebody else. But if you need encouragement, listen up. God has some encouragement for you. Praise God. Today, I felt led to release this devotional right here. And I'm, I'm going to read this in your hearing and then I'm going to share with you what God led me to, what God gave me today. Um... It says, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24. The devotional reads, My sister, I know things haven't been easy lately. I know everything you believe has been put to the test, and the war in your mind has been unreal. Trust me, I know. We must remember that God didn't create the world yesterday. He didn't create the earth yesterday. He has been helping people just like you and me to get through tough times for ages. Over the centuries, he has strengthened, encouraged, guided, comforted, healed, and delivered people just like you and me. And he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He was saving and rescuing people then, and he is doing it now. You may not have seen what you are facing before, but God has. It's nothing for him to see you through this, but you have to put your life and your situation in his hands. He promises that he is faithful and he will do it. There's nothing you have to figure out. Your highly experienced and all-knowing father has already figured it out. He is with you and he will help you. The prayer says, Father God, thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness. Just as you have helped countless others throughout history, you will help me. You will guide me. I trust you and I receive your help in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What God spoke to me is that he is, he's a professional. He's a professional. I don't know if you guys remember the story the book of Exodus talk about. The people of Israel, they had just experienced a great victory. God had just brought them through the Red Sea. Great victory. Drowned their enemies in the Red Sea. Then they journeyed through the wilderness for three days. They came to a, to a brook thinking that they could drink some water. Finally, they can feel refreshed because they were thirsty. They get to that water, they taste it, and it's bitter so bitter that they can't drink it. And so they began to grumble. They began to complain. Moses talked to God and Moses tells God what's going on. And, and God says, throw a tree into the water. The water becomes sweet. It becomes drinkable. Then days after that, they get through that situation. Okay, they got through the Red Sea. They get through the bitter water situation. Then they get to the place where they have no food. They start complaining again. Moses talks to God. 
God says, all right, tell the kids to settle down. It's going to be all right. And he commands manna to come down from heaven, quail to come down, fish. He gives them a miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle. That's your God. That's not a fairy tale. That's not just something that happened. And, and this, that's not a fictional story to make us feel good in this day and time right now. Our God, our almighty God, he did that. He blessed them. He turned their bitter situation into a sweet, drinkable waters. He gave them victory from their enemies, caused their enemies to drown in the Red Sea. He blessed them, caused manna to come down from heaven. Our God did that. He did that thing. And he is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. His character doesn't change. His love for you won't change. It hasn't changed. His desire to see you fulfilled and see you blessed and see you provided for hasn't changed. His nature hasn't changed. And so God is the same. He's been carrying people through. He's been helping people just like me and you. He's been delivering people from, from, from bondage for years. He's been providing supernaturally for years. He's been making ways out of no way for years. He's been doing it. All of the libraries all across the world cannot contain not just the miracles of Jesus, but the miracles that our Father has done miraculously. And so he is no amateur when it comes to bringing people through. He's no amateur when it comes to saving people. He's no amateur when it comes to softening a hard heart. He's no amateur when it comes to delivering someone. He is no amateur when it comes to healing your body. He is no amateur. He's not a novice. He's not trying to figure you out. He's not trying to figure out how to bring you out of that. He's not trying to figure out how to get through to your spouse, how to get through to your loved one. He's not trying to figure it out. He's already figured it out. He's a master. He's a professional. He's an expert at the human heart. He's an expert at our bodies. He's a great physician. He knows how to heal us, to the uh, save us to the uttermost and heal us completely and restore us and make us whole and complete. God is a master at providing. He's a master at giving us rivers in our desert places. He's a master at promoting you when everyone told you no, you ain't been on a job long enough. God will still give you promotion. He will cause people to tell you yes when they've told everybody else no. He will cause people to do for you what they've never done for nobody else. When he says you have favor with God and with man, he meant that. When he says that I am your faithful father, I will do it. He means it. When he says I will make a way out of no way, he means it. Because he's done it for so many other people. Your situation is not new to God. And it may be new to you. You've never felt what you're feeling before. You've never been as heartbroken as you are right now. You've never felt lost like you do right now. You've never felt this type of way. You've never been in this type of situation. It's new to you. But it's not new to God. And that's what we have to realize. It's not new to God. It's not new to God. Lord, this is no, This is so new to me. I've never been betrayed like this. I've never been treated like this. I've never been, I've never been abandoned like this. This is so new to me. I've never been falsely accused like this. I've never experienced this level of heartbreak before. I've never experienced this kind of pain before. I've never gone through this before. This is new, but it's not new to God. It's not new to God. And you got to tell yourself, this is not new to God. This is new to me, but it's not new to my father. It's not new to my father. It's not new to my father. He's been bringing people through this for centuries. He's been helping people for centuries. And he's going to help me. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
He's going to make a way. He's going to heal my heart. He's going to carry me through it. He's going to be your strength. He's going to be your peace. He's going to be your friend. He's going to be your comforter. He's going to be your guide. He's going to navigate you right through it. He's going to navigate you right through it. Get you right through it. He's going to hold your hand and say, come on, baby girl. We're going to get right through it. It's going to be all right. I know what happened to your child, but it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. So you put your life and you put your situation in God's hands. And the one that's the expert. You're not entrusting your life to a novice. You're not entrusting your life to an amateur. You're trusting, entrusting your life and your situations into someone that knows exactly what he's doing. And so you give it to him. He said, Father, I give you my family. I give you my life. I give you my heart. I give you this situation. I give you all of this. And I trust you with all of it. Help me trust you. And you'll see God navigate you right on through. And you'll see God do what he's done for ages. For ages. And you'll experience a new experience with God. Just like you've never experienced that pain before. You'll experience a healing that you've never experienced before. A joy you've never experienced before. A restoration you've never felt before and experienced before. You'll get to know another side of your father like you've never known before. God is going to bless you with new experiences with him. New experiences with him. The devil thought he did God one up. He thought he had it. When he gave you a pain like you never had. But God said, I'm going to give you a healing like you've never had. I'm going to make ways like you've never seen. I'm going to do wonders and miracles like you've never experienced. God is so much smarter than the enemy. He's so much smarter. He has the final say. And he's going to give you new experiences with him. Mark my word, write it in your journal. Today is the day you heard this. God is going to bless you with new experiences with him. And you're going to experience him in ways you've never experienced before. And it's going to blow your mind completely. Shift your paradigm. Mess you all up. <laughs> Mess you all up. And you're going to say, I've never experienced this before. God is good. God is real. And he does love me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. New experiences. I pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for speaking to us today. We thank you, Lord God. The enemy may have brought some pain that we've never experienced, some heartbreak we've never experienced, some, some, some lack we've never seen before, some closed doors we've never experienced. But we thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you're coming with some new experiences that we've never seen because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You've always been faithful. You've always been good. You've always been righteous. You've always been holy. You've always been for us, Father. And so we thank you, Lord. You are going to do what you've always done since the beginning of time. You're going to show yourself faithful. Daddy, you're going to show yourself faithful continually in our lives, Lord. We thank you, Lord. You are our faithful Father. You are our good Father. You are our loving Father. We're thankful, Lord God, that you are with us and you are faithful, Father. Thank you, Lord, for every new experience you are blessing my sisters with in the name of Jesus. I pray you build their confidence in you more and more. Help them to trust you more and more in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for it, Lord, for the new experiences. Hallelujah. With your glory, with your love, with your power. New experiences with your Holy Spirit. New experiences with your word. New experiences with you, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Things we've never seen before. Never seen before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're so thankful. <laughs> We're so thankful. The devil's a liar. And you are true. And we thank you, Lord. Your truth is what prevails in our lives. In the name of Jesus. You got the final say in my sister's lives, Father. I pray for supernatural encouragement to their hearts. I pray you infuse them with your, with your strength, Father, in the name of Jesus. 
help them trust you like they've never trusted you before in Jesus name. And you're going to bring them out like you've never, like they've never seen before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 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 In Jesus name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God loves you. He touched my heart, told me to bless you today. And I pray you are blessed. Love you so, so, so much. But God loves you so much more. God bless you.